What's up, everybody? It's Mr. You Know Who from XMR Gaming, and today I'm bringing you guys a new 2014 tutorial for Brute Force Save Data 4.6 on how to reassign save correctly and how to set up Brute Force Save Data before you reassign saves. So, a lot of people are still having trouble reassigning saves correctly, so I'm here to clarify. For you guys on how to set up brute force save data correctly and how to reassign saves correctly so let's get into the tutorial first things first you want to get a save from your main account on your PlayStation copy that save to a USB flash drive so for prime example let's say on your PlayStation you have one account only. That's the account you use online and offline to play your games. And you want to reassign saves that are not yours to that account so it can work. First things first, you need to get a save from that account on your PlayStation. Copy it either through uh, USB or an external come back to your computer copy that save to your desktop that, that is step one before you do anything before you set up brute force save data before you start reassign saves so again let me clarify for you guys one more time if you only have one account not two just one and that's the account you want to reassign saves to that are not yours yet you want to go to that account on your PlayStation and get a save, copy it through USB or external device, come back to your computer, put that save on your desktop, and then from there you can proceed to start reassigning saves or setting up brute force save data first. Okay? Once you've done that, Step two, setting up brute force save data correctly so that any save that is not yours, you can reassign it correctly to the account that you want to use it on. Okay? So first things first, guys, I'm going to go to brute force save data after I got my save from my main account. And... Let me actually close this out for you guys and reopen it fresh so you guys can see. So, if you just installed Brute Force Save Data for the first time, it's going to ask you to update your cheat repository. All you have to do is just hit download. Cheat repository updated successful. Or successfully. Hit OK. Now you can close this out. Now, if you just installed this for the first time, very first time, let me actually move this over for you guys, sorry, it's going to pop up with a dialog box asking you to use a param.sfo to set up your user ID account. It's either going to be a yes or it's either going to be a no. What I would recommend you guys to do is hit no. Again, when I set up mine, I do not hit yes. I hit no and I do it the old school way. So if you hit no, you want to click in this white area, right click, and you want to go down to settings and go to your global settings. Now right here is your global settings. So before you can actually start reassigning saves to your main account that are not yours you need to set up your global settings correctly so if you are following my directions and you got the save from your main account that you want to reassign saves to and put it on your desktop from here we need to put in our user ID and I'm using a tool called Param dot sf sfo editor and 
if you guys are looking on how to download this, I made a previous tutorial that show you guys how to find your console ID and your user ID. If you need to download this, there are two links below, one for save data, brute force save data 4.6, one for the pattern.sfo editor, and you can get it there. So, first things first, you want to click on this folder. You want to go to your desktop. And we want to go to the save that we just copied from our main account and open it up and go to the param.sfo hit open now if you did this part correctly it should say your account name which would be on your PlayStation here and it should say your actual save that you're using here now what we want to do is click on this drop down and go to your param user d1 and this number right here we want to copy this to our brute force save data user id mine is already done already so i'm not going to redo it now we want to get our console id which is fairly simple click on the drop down go to your param psid now we want to copy this inside of brute force save data which you guys can see I already did once you've done that part just hit close okay so after you've done that you we want to go and set a profile so right now we want to go to profile or configurate profile one open this up Go to your desktop, go back to the same save that you just set up brute force save data, which would have been your main account that you just copied that save and put on your desktop again. Click inside the folder, go to your param.sfo, hit open, and it's going to ask you to enter a friendly name. What I would recommend you guys to do is to put the same name from your main account in your friend, your friendly name. So my personal account is Craig's. So I'm going to associate my friendly name as Craig's. Therefore, if I start setting up multiple profiles inside of brute force save data I can distinguish which account I'm reassigning saves to right now you guys should have just did your main account and put in as I said before the same name on your PlayStation when you turn it on and power it up and you log in it should be the same name that goes here so you guys can distinguish what account you're reassigning saves to hit OK and it says user profile one cracks now will be used for patches if you go back to set profile as you guys can see my profile which is my main account and it has a check is cracks therefore any save that is not my save or somebody else's save or save that you downloaded from online once you put it on your desktop or USB external and you come here let's say you put it on your desktop a save that is not yours but you want to reassign it to your main account let's go to your desktop or you hit and then once you've done that or refresh and you would see your main save, which would be 
the one from your main account, and then you have a second save that won't have a profile, and it'll just say a whole bunch of numbers. That is the save that is not yours, but you want to change it to your main account and make it work so when you copy it, it will not be associated with your main account. So, all you have to do is go to this save that is somebody else's save or save that you downloaded from online and you want to now change it to your main account so it can work. Right click, come all the way down to it says update account ID and copy params. It's going to ask you, do you want to update the param.sfo with the profile cracks? Just hit yes. Do you want to update the current save data? Yes. It says warning, these files may not be decrypted yet. Just hit yes. And you can, as you can see now, guys, the save that was once not mine, that I either downloaded from online or got from somebody else, has now been uh, turned into my main save and can now use can now be used on my main account. As you guys can see, the profile just changed to Craig. So now I can take this Bleach Soul Resurrection save that was not mine, and now copy it on my USB external or flash drive, go back to my PlayStation, go back to Craig's, copy it onto my Craig's account, and it should work. And that's it. That's all it is to reassign and save. If you follow these steps, you should be good to go. Um, if you want to assign another profile that you have on your play, let's say you have a second account on your PlayStation. So we, I just showed you guys how to do your main account. Let's say you got a second account, and you want to reassign saves to that account. That is not yours. Go back to your save profile. Go down to configurate profile. And this time you're going to go to number two. And as always, you want to get a save from account number two on your PlayStation. Again, put it on your desktop. And once you go to your desktop, you're going to go to that save from account number two. Let's say I would use Bleach. I'm not going to do it because I just took my Bleach save and reassigned it to my cracks. But if I didn't do that, I would go click in there like before. Go to my param.sfo. Hit open. I'm going to hit cancel right now for you guys because I, I don't have a save and it would ask you again to please set up a friendly name. You guys would put in whatever that name on your second account on your PlayStation is. And now you go back to your profile and you would have two profiles. You have your main account and you have your second account. And always make sure once you have more than one profile set up here, make sure that you have a check as you can see on the profile that you want to reassign saves that are not yours to so prime example i just took my bleep save that was not associated with my main account which was craig's i want to change it back so take my craig's bleep save and change it back to my xmr save so that it can work on my XMI account, which is my second account. All I do is just use profile number two and hit OK. And as you guys can see, always be aware it also changes up here to your profile. So you also know up here, this is the profile that any save that is not mine will now change to profile X amount, which is my second account. So I'm going to take this bleach save that I just reassigned to Craig's, 
to reassign it back to my second account. And all I do, do the same thing again. Right click on it, highlight it, right click. Update account ID and copy params. Do you want to update param.sfo with this profile XMI? Yes. Hit yes again. And you're good to go. And as you guys can see, I just took my Craig save and reassigned it back to my XMI. And now I can take this save and copy it to my XMI account, which is my second account, and it will work. So that's pretty much it, guys, for how to set up Brute Force Save Data 4.6 and any version of Brute Force Save Data correctly and how to reassign saves correctly. I hope this tutorial was helpful for you guys. So this should clear up how to set it up correctly and how to reassign saves correctly. I will be making another video about brute force save data 4.6 about additional features that are here but that's for a later video but right now you guys should be good to go on how to set up brute force save data 4.6 or previous version correctly and how to reassign saves correctly if you follow my tutorial it should work if you still need help just send me a little tweet or this Email me at xmigaming at gmail.com. And when I get some time, I'll respond. But that's pretty much it, guys. I hope this tutorial was helpful for you guys. I hope you guys can now reassign saves correctly. Um, other than that, that's pretty much it, guys. Look out for my gaming channel, XMI Gaming. Look out for any previous videos. If you have a video that you guys want me to make, or if you need help, always feel free to email me. Other than that, enjoy your Mother's Day. Today is Sunday, Mother's Day. And peace.